In this video, we're going to go over the decarboxylation reaction mechanism. So let's say if we have a beta keto carboxylic acid. So here on a beta carbon, this is the alpha carbon, we have a carbonyl group on a beta carbon. Now this doesn't have to be a ketone, it could be an ester, it could be another carboxylic acid, but if there's a carbonyl group on a beta carbon, then if you heat it, decarboxylation will occur. So basically, we're going to replace this group with a hydrogen. So over here is a CH2 group. So this is CH2 followed by a carboxylic acid. And so what's going to happen is we're going to lose the carboxylic acid and we're going to replace it with a hydrogen. So this is going to disappear and then this will be the end result. So instead of a CH2 group, this will now be a CH3 group. And so that's the basic idea behind decarboxylation. You remove a carboxylic acid in the form of carbon dioxide. Now let's talk about the mechanism of this process. So you want to draw this a certain way. So here's the ketone, and you want to draw the OH group of the carboxylic acid like this. And so in this form, we have this intramolecular hydrogen bond. But what do you think is going to happen once we heat this compound? How can we show the mechanism for the decarboxylation reaction? So I'm going to color code everything. So this happens all together. The OH bond is going to break. These electrons will move here. And then this bond will break too. Those electrons will be used to form a double bond, causing this bond to break. And those electrons will connect the oxygen with the hydrogen. And so we're going to have an O with a single bond to a hydrogen. So the green bond indicates that it came from those electrons. And here is a double bond. So this product is called an enol. And then for the other product, here we have a carbon atom double bonded to a oxygen atom. And then there's another oxygen atom here. And these electrons were used to form the pi bond that we see here. So we get carbon dioxide. So the bonds are color coded so you can see where the electrons went in the course of this reaction. Now, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is converting the enol into the ketone. So let's go over that process. Now, for the sake of simplicity, let's say that this decarboxylation reaction is carried out in water under acidic conditions. And so what we need to do in the next step is we need to add a hydrogen to this carbon using an acid. And so the enol is going to take one of its lone pairs to form a pi bond, pushing these pi electrons so that we can connect this carbon and the hydrogen atom. And then the OH bond is going to break. Those two electrons are going to go back to the oxygen atom. So this is going to produce a protonated ketone, which looks like this. So now the oxygen atom bears a positive charge, but we don't have two hydrogen atoms here. Now we have three. So the last step in the mechanism is to deprotonate the ketone. And since H3O plus lost the hydrogen, we can now use a base. And under acidic conditions, the base is going to be water. So water is going to grab the hydrogen and put two electrons back on that ketone. And so here is the ketone product. And of course, we had carbon dioxide, which escaped as a gas under heated acidic conditions. And so that is the decarboxylation mechanism for a beta keto acid. By the way, if you want more organic chemistry videos like this one, feel free to check out my playlist, my new organic chemistry playlist, in the description section of this video. So thanks again for watching.